Uh, in this lesson, we are going to uh, work on messages, okay? Um, so there's a few things we need to do. Uh, initially, we need to uh, create um, a seed um, for our messages. Uh, so this is our messages here. Uh, one thing I forgot to add in there is status. So we need to know when a message is read and when it hasn't been read. So now this means that we need to update our table. You can see our table for messages is missing uh, that field that we need, status field. Okay, so um, active record, if we go to guides and click on uh, migration um, here, active record uh, allows us to update uh, the columns that we have. So I'm going to search for Rails G for generate. And down here we have this here. So here we could basically generate a migration and we can pass in the name of the column that we want. Okay, depending on how we name our um, migration, it will uh, write the code that we need. So this is where we have all the migrations that we, we that was automatically created for us when we made our models. So this is the schema that gives a snapshot of what our database looks like um, at the moment. All right, so this all matches up here. So what we want to do is generate another migration in here that will make reference to our messages. Okay, now to do that, we're going to our terminal, we say Rails generate migration, and we will name this cleverly, we say add status to uh, messages. So we say, okay, the status is a type Boolean. Now enter. So this will generate a migration for us, this migration here. So this is it right here, click on it. And it gives us um, add column to messages table, uh, status Boolean. Also, I want to prevent null, so I don't want to save null. So no null is allowed. Uh, so the default should be false. Okay, so if you don't save anything, it will have default as false. All right, so um, we could clear this now and we can say uh, rake db migrate. So this will check our migration folder and it will run only the ones that we haven't run yet, which is this add status to messages. After this is done, we can, uh, so, have a look at the schema and you will see down at the messages part that we now have a status added to it. So that's what is done. It's always keeping the schema up to date. And if I restart my SQLite Pro, uh, SQLite Studio, we can see here we have um, stu uh, status uh, with the default of uh, false. Okay, so now that we've done this, we can uh, go ahead and and um, let me close this. Actually, going to our seed, we need to have some data before we generate our record. So message um, dot create. Okay, and the fields we want are content, uh, visitors, and status. Okay, so I have content. We have status and we have visitor who owns this message. All right, so the content is uh, very similar to what we have here in paragraphs. I'm going to copy the paragraphs, including the comma. And status is very similar to what we have at line 30. So I'm going to do the same and copy that. So status is true or false randomly. And visitor is the same as this visitor up here. So I'm going to save it there. All right, so now we have our seed data, so we can go ahead and uh, say DB reset, so we can repopulate our database using the newly added uh, messages. All right, so um, if I restart my SQLite Studio and we go into messages and we check uh, the data, we now have our dummy data in there. We have status, it's true and false randomly, and everything we need is there. So there are 30 records in total. All right, so now we could go ahead and say Rails generates uh, admin uh, messages. So we need to list our messages, show a message, uh, ability to update message, uh, destroy message. All right, and um, we can now go into 
uh, routes and add the resources for our messages here. Index show update and destroy. Okay. And in uh, our app and view, we could go into our messages and we don't need a view for destroy. Uh, we don't need a view for update. All right, and in our controller, we'll go into our messages controller and we'll add admin up here. All right, so we have done the, uh, the, the work, initial work. Uh, required, so we haven't quite got on to doing the tasks yet, but we've done the necessary work uh, for the for this to work. All right, so this is where we can end uh, for this lesson. We've learned a few a few things: how to um, create a migration to update existing ones. All right, I will see you in the next lesson.